What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So, of course, Windows is getting more pushy with installing Windows 11 and soon you probably won't have a choice. But for now, at least, there is a way to stop being tricked into installing Windows 11 when you don't necessarily want it. This video isn't going to dive into the why or should you, but this video is going to show you how to lock yourself to Windows 10 at 21H1 so that you don't get Windows 10 21H2 and of course the Windows 11 update that people are talking about. There is a simple way to do this though you'll need administrator privileges on your computer. So if this is a work laptop or something like that you won't be able to do that. Hit start and type in edit group and we'll be opening edit group policy. Inside of here we'll be expanding computer configuration, then we'll expand administrator templates, then windows components, and we'll be scrolling all the way down to windows update down here. Then I'll expand this and click on windows update for business. Inside of here, you'll see select the target feature update version. Double click on this here and a new window will open up. If you're running Windows 21 H1, we can disable downloading 21 H2, which a lot of people are talking about will be the update that forces you to download Windows 11 or something like that. I'm really not too stressed about it, but if you absolutely have to stay on Windows 10, you can stop updates. You can hit start and type in WinVer and then open up this program here to see what version of Windows you're currently running. I'm running 21H1 at the time of recording. So if you have 21H1 available for download, go ahead and download and install that as we'll be locking ourselves to that for now. Then all we have to do is set enabled up here and type into this box Windows 10, make sure you spell it right with a capital W and target feature version 21H1. After clicking apply and OK, your PC will now be locked to the feature update 21H1. If you'd ever like to update to 21H2 and it doesn't force you to upgrade to Windows 11 or anything like that, you can just double click this over here and simply disable this. I'm not too sure if 21H2 will actually force you to download Windows 11 or anything like that. I highly doubt it, but a lot of people are talking about it that way. So if you're highly paranoid, this is something you can do. If you're running Windows 10 Home and you don't have the Group Policy Manager, you can always do it another way. Hit Start, type in REGEDIT, then open up Registry Editor from your Start menu. Inside of here, all we have to do is on the left hand side, navigate into HKEY Local Machine, then Software, scroll all the way down, Policies, Microsoft, Windows, and inside of here, we'll look for the Windows Update key. If you don't have this, right-click the Windows folder and click New, then Key. Type in the name Windows Update, capital W, capital U, no space, then select it, and on the right-hand side here, this folder should be empty. I'll right-click, New, and then DWORD 32-bit value. We'll give it the name Target Release Version, capital T, R, and V, as such, then we'll open it up if it doesn't open up automatically and simply press one, then okay. After doing so, we'll do the same for this one down here. All you have to do is right click, new, string value, and give it the name target release version info, capital T, capital R, capital V, capital I, then we'll double click on it and set this to 21 capital H1. Hit okay. And we're done here. This way, you'll now be locked to Windows 10 21H1 and you won't be upgraded to 21H2 or Windows 11 if it ever decides to forcibly install on your computer as we've now locked ourselves to this. In order to free yourself from this, you can just delete that key entirely, the Windows Update folder there, or you can remove those two separate keys that we added. As you'll see inside of the Updates screen here, it'll now say some settings are managed by your organization, which is great. This way it won't upgrade to Windows 11. You can click this button here and you'll see this down here. Target release version for feature updates, administrator, group policy, etc, etc. Awesome. Now we're locked to 21H1. Of course, it's not impossible to install Windows 11 at this point, but it shouldn't automatically install through Windows Update. Super simple and maybe unnecessary depending on how you look at it, but a lot of people are looking for this guide, so here it is. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.